Today's how to build is on Hellboy. If you like this video, here are some other how to build videos you might enjoy. I didn't receive any comments requesting Hellboy, but my fiance is a big fan of Hellboy, and he asked me to make Hellboy for him. I recently saw the Guillermo del Toro movie, Hellboy, for the first time, so I thought I would build a Lego Hellboy in both minifigure and sort of action figure scale. And I thought I would share it with all of you in case anyone out there is a Hellboy fan and wants to build this. So let's start with the minifig scale Hellboy. These are the pieces you'll need for his legs and tail. A relatively rare piece you'll need for this is a black one by one plate with tooth on the end. Um, if you don't have that, you can use one of these just one by one plates with clip on the end instead. So black round plate on top of that and two red plates on top of that for the bottom of the legs. Then we'll connect that with a one by two plate in black with handle on the back, going that way. For the holster, we'll use a one by one plate with clip in black. To get the, across the sense of his utility belt, I'm gonna make this one brown, and I'd make this brown too if I had a holster piece in that color. Uh, using this old style gun, sort of the old western gun, clipping it in there. For the tail, start with a plate with clip on top, then a red one by one round plate with a hole through it. You can find this in the Ghostbusters set on their proton pack. Stick that in the bottom and then stick one of these tooth horn pieces in red on that. Clip this whole thing on to the back. An alternative construction for the tail, plate with clip. This is a cylinder and that's a half Technic half pin connecting these two things, and then the same horn piece on the end. If you're willing to modify pieces, take one of these plates with circle clips in red and cut off the plate so you've just got the circle clip. Then you can connect the horn directly to the one by one plate with clip and then it's all red instead of having to put dark red in there. On top of that, you're gonna use a plain red torso if you're feeling ambitious, you could try to draw on some abs. The only other torso that would work here is Deadpool's torso. It's red and it has abs on it, which is about as close as you can get. But I actually prefer a plain red torso. Next, you'll want to take a brown cape like this and modify it to be a trench coat. So uh, basically what's going on here is uh, I've cut off the top there and I've poked some holes on the side where the arms are going to go. Uh, I actually have a video that talks about how to make these trench coats. I'll link to it right here so you can click if you want to see that. And then for Hellboy, I put a slit at the butt on the trench coat for where his tail needs to go. My trench coat piece is getting a little frayed from use over the years, but it's still functional. For this arm, you're going to take an arm and a hand in red and use that to hold the trench coat in place. Line the holes up, connect the arm through. You've got it on one side now. So for his other arm, I suggest stealing an arm off of a rock monster from the Power Miner sets a few years ago. And then you can paint it red. Uh, it's gonna be a little darker red just because the it's a dark gray piece. Um, and the thing is you can put regular arms onto rock monsters if you didn't already realize that. And then you can give them like hooks and stuff and have pirate rock monsters. Yeah. <laughs> Line up the trench coat on the other side and then put the painted arm in there. Uh, an alternative, if you don't have that arm, is to use a regular red arm and add in uh, the boxing glove. Uh, another option would be to use like this cyborg arm and a plate with clip and paint the cyborg arm red. For the head, the only Lego head that really comes close to looking like Hellboy is this demon face. Um, I'll put a link in the description to where you can get that. Uh, it's got the yellow eyes uh, and it's red, so that's okay, but it doesn't really have his sideburns or you know anything like that. So I painted a red head to look like Hellboy, so gave it yellow eyes, a uh, little goatee, sort of smirky smile and then did hair around the back that sort of have the big sideburns and leave space for where the ears would be. So uh, that was pretty good. 
Uh, now this one, it's the same sort of painting, except I didn't do it as well. But uh, this headpiece that I'm working on here, it's a modified custom piece. So um, I took this tentacle head that is made by Area Light Customs. I'll put a link in the description to that. And then I uh, cut off the tentacle pieces to make it look like the cut off horns that are on Hellboy's head. So what I did for the cut off horns of Hellboy's head, um, I took a one by one round plate like this, though any red Lego piece with a stud would really work. And I took an X-Acto knife and I cut off the stud. Um, so that leaves this flat piece, but this is the little piece I was after. So just the round little circle that says Lego on it. This is what I refer to as the stud. Some people call this a stud, but to me this is the stud. So this is a one by one round plate. This is a stud. So just cutting off the stud. And then I used a little animating putty so that I could stick these on his forehead. Uh, approximately in the right spots there. You can move them around. Uh, if you're really dedicated, this is where you would uh, glue them, craggle them in place. So when he's all said and done, this is what he looks like. Give a spin around there. Obviously there's a lot of customizing going on with the trench coat and the arm and the head and the horns. But if you stick to just Lego pieces, this is about as good of a Hellboy as you can get using the uh, boxing glove arm and having just a regular cape instead of a trench coat. Just having his head be the demon face. It doesn't really look like Hellboy the way that this one does, so um, this is the power of customization. I, I try not to go too crazy with customization, but this is definitely a minifigure that needs it if you want it to look good. All right, now let's move on to the action figure scale Hellboy. These are the pieces you'll need to build Hellboy's legs. Start with a black one by one plate with tooth on the end. Put that under a one by two plate. Uh, if you've got one by one square plates, use that. I ran out, so I'm using a round plate here. Put a round plate there. Connect that to the bottom of a 1x2 downward slope. Put an offset plate on the top of that. And a red 1x1 round plate. The next section of the leg we're going to build up around one of these um, sort of camera pieces. It has studs in many directions. So take some 1x3 and go around the three main sides here. These can also be one by one and one by two if you don't got the one by threes. On the back, fill this in with a one by two plate. Then uh, you can do a one by three plate if you've got it here or just a one by two and a one by one of some kind. Connect that on, build a second leg identical to that one and then you can put them both to the side. Take a black 2x3 plate and two 1x2 plates. Connect them up with some 1x2 offset plates. Two on each side. In the center, you're going to want a 1x2 tile. On the bottom of that, put a 1x2 plate and some 2x2 round bricks. This will be the bottom of his shorts, so you can connect the legs into these. Legs. Legs, legs, legs. Legs. These are the pieces you'll need for Hellboy's torso. So we're going to start with some black corner plates here. Put some 1x2 black plates on top of that. Fill up this with a red 1x2 plate. Gonna connect the front here with a 1x4 plate. Red 1x1 round plates under that 1x4 plate. Uh, then you're gonna take a 1x2 to 1x4 bracket in black. Put that on the front. That's where his utility belt's gonna be. On the back. I'm going to put the same bracket piece in red. This is setting up the connections for his trench coat. You can fill this in with just about any color piece. I'm just using some gray 1x1s here. 
Uh, that'll all be covered up by the trench coat. If you want to have it look good when he has his trench coat off, I'd make that red. More round one by ones up in the front here. And we'll do some one by twos along the side. Color again doesn't matter back here. Put a gray back there. Then we're going to do a two by four plate to connect all of this. Let's do the utility belt. Brown one by one plate with clip. Then I've just got different uh, one by one tiles that are printed. So that's a lock from a Harry Potter set. This is uh, the compass from the Pirates of the Caribbean set. Just stuff that looks interesting and like, you know, supernatural fighting materials. And I just put a brown one by one tile on the end there. Next, you're gonna want some one by one bricks with stud on one side. You want at least two of these in red. I had three, and so the other one I substituted in gray. This one I stole from Cloud Cuckoo Land. My home! <laughs> so add those one by one bricks with stud on one side. Gray one needs to be in the back. Down the center here, do some one by one round plates. One by two plate back here. I'm using red, but you could actually use any color at that point. Two by two plate, more one by one round plate to complete his uh, abs. And then another bracket piece in red on the back. Take some two by two round plates and two by two round bricks. Connect them together. Connect all of that together with a one by two to one by four bracket. Put a offset plate in red on the top here and some cheese slopes in here. And then all this business fits onto the lower part of the torso. And the torso now complete and connect up to the legs. These are the pieces you'll need for Hellboy's left arm. I chose to do Hellboy's trench coat in dark tan, which is a hard color to work in because it's relatively new and rare, but I think it's the most accurate color here and I was able to make it work uh, with some lucky part finds. So this one by two plate with a ledge on the side is really nice for doing the edges of the trench coat. So let's start with two of those and a one by four plate in gray because the color doesn't matter. Another one by two uh, with the edge there. Then let's do a offset plate in dark tan and two two by two tiles. So put that aside for a moment. Next, take a two by four plate and a one by two with ledge. Connect them with a two by two tile because I've got lots of those. I don't have a two by two plate, but I've got two one by twos here. And then in red, I'm using a one by two with handle where I'll connect the arm. Then I'm gonna do another two by two tile. Then one of these two by two offset plates because I don't got any 2x2 two two plates. And then a 2x2 two two tile on top of that. Make a nice arm there. For the hand, uh, just two of these 1x1 one one plate with clip on the side. Connect together. For the gun, using this black nozzle piece with a dark gray cylinder and a dark gray cone. thought that worked pretty well. You could also, instead of that nozzle, use this old school type of nozzle. The way to connect this to the torso is to take that first piece that we made with all the ledge plates, connect that to the side like so. There'll be a little gap down there. Should line up pretty nicely there. Uh, and then this piece connects with uh, this dot falling into that hole. I thought that was a nice place for the arm to bend at the middle. If you don't like that as the place where the arm bends, you can flip this around. 
So take a two by two offset plate here and a one by two tile. And then you connect this stud to that little uh, thing in the middle there. And then it can bend up here. You can also take the gun and connect it into the holster there if you like that instead. Put the arm back. Should probably give this guy another arm, right? These are the pieces you'll need for Hellboy's right arm. Similar to the other arm, we're gonna start off with some one by two plates with ledges, one by four plate in any color, another one by two with ledge, connect it all with a two by two tile, then do a one by two offset plate, and another two by two tile down here. Next, you're gonna do a two by four plate, one by two ledge, do some one by two plates here, and connect this with a two by two tile, a two by two tile, a one by two tile here, and then we're gonna take some legs. I was trying to find a good sort of bracket piece in dark tan or brick with studs on the sides, and I could not find any. And then I realized I could use legs. So using some minifig legs here, stick them down there, and now let's use these legs to build an arm. So then these can connect into the bottom of this two by two brick here, and then put that into a two by two round brick, and then a two by two plate, and then we're gonna use some cheese slopes, and cheese slope, Build this side up with some one by one plates there and then some cheese slopes as well, trying to make it look kind of like a big old fist there. So take this piece, connect it onto the side like we did over there, and then connect the arm on again right there at the center. And now he can move his big old hand and knock things out. These are the pieces you need for the center of Hellboy's trench coat. Start with a 2x6 plate. Do a 2x2 offset plate here. Then a 2x2 offset plate, a 2x2 offset plate, and a 2x2 tile. Do a 2x4 plate across this way. Some 1x2 with ledges under that on each side. And do two two by two tiles across like that. Then up here, just do some one by two ledge pieces and one by two tiles on top of them. On Hellboy's back, I'm gonna connect this chunk so it falls right under that top bracket there. I'm gonna cover that bracket with those two standalone plates can see we've now got nice ledges going around the top there. The tail uses an advanced technique. I showed this before in the wither video. So take a antenna that's got a red base and uh, whatever color handle. Um, so disconnect it and then reconnect it going through the opposite direction all the way like that connect another antenna base like that. You're gonna push this back that way. Make two of those. Take some cylinder bricks. Take a Technic half pin. Stick it in the bottom of those cylinder bricks. And then thread the antenna handle through that. And connect it to uh, the other antenna piece, and now you've got a big section that can connect like that. Do that, then connect this one to that one. Then we're gonna take one of these tooth horn pieces in red, stick it in the end there. Take one of these cylinder bricks and stick it on the end here. Stick this onto the back of his trench coat right there. So you can flex it all the way down. You can flex it to the side here. Rotate it around. It's a really poseable, nice, big red tail for him. 
If you don't want to go through all the trouble of that, there's this dark red tail piece that's about the right shape and size. If you have them, there's these um, big curvy slope pieces in dark tan that fit on pretty nicely down here. Um, you can use those as sort of the bottom of your trench coat. They stick out a little bit more than is ideal, but um, they've got a nice swoopiness to them. Um, so that can just be the bottom of your trench coat if you've got those and you're lazy. Otherwise, I'll show you a brick belt alternative. Start with a 2x8 plate in dark tan. Take a 2x6 plate, stick that under there. On the bottom here, we're going to fill it in with some 1x2s because I don't have a 1x4. Like that. I'm going to build up this side a little bit. 1x2s because I don't have a 1x6 or 1x3s. We're going to do three 1x6 tiles through here. Close this up. Then take a 2x2 two two offset plate, fill in that bottom, or a 2x2 two two plate if you've got it, or some 1x2 plates, and a 2x2 two two tile on the top. Then we're going to build the exact mirror image of that. So then we have two of these nice flowy trench coat pieces. I'm going to take this one and stick it on that side. Take the other one and stick it on the other side. I'm proud of the way the trench coat turned out. I think it looks good and natural and flowy and trench coaty, uh, especially from the back. I actually like this brick built approach back here better than this uh, big curvy slope. These are the pieces you need for Hellboy's head. Start with a 1x2 plate in red with a handle on it. Take a 1x1 plate with clip on the top, connect it to the center. Take a black one by one round piece, connect it down there. It's gonna be his little chin and goatee. Then we're gonna build up a layer of one by one round plates here. Then take a two by two round plate on top of that. Then we're gonna take a uh, one by two plate with click hinge in black on it. Put it back here. Then use a one by two offset plate in black. Stick it on top of that. Then in the front, do a 1x2 plate in red up here. Then take some transparent yellow 1x1 round tiles. You can plunder these from Cloud Cuckoo Land like I did. My home! Connect those on top like this. Then we're going to take a 2x2 round plate. Some 1x1 plates with round clips on the side off on the two angles here. Then this, flip it upside down, put a red round plate there and a black round plate here. And then push these together as far as the it'll allow before that plate sticks out. Connect the black plate to the black offset plate. And now you've got Hellboy's um, sort of cut off horns right there above his yellow eyes. Uh, nice ponytail in the back. The only thing missing are his big old uh, sideburn chops. So take some black arms and black hands and then connect them to the this one by two red handle down here and then sort of rotate them down to be where you want them for being the sideburns. Do the same thing on the other side. So that was a really nice uh, part use there, I thought. So this is what the head looks like once you've done that. Now you can connect the head to the body. Um, if you want to twist his head, there's a little side-to-side -side movement he can do on the offset plate. One of Hellboy's iconic features is that he's often smoking a cigar. If you want to have this one smoking a cigar, I suggest opening up his head taking some putty and sticking it inside there, reconnecting his head, and then taking one of these brown carrots that are used as torch pieces, and sticking that in as a big funny cigar, 
And then if you take one of these plume pieces and chop off the little piece that's on the end there, then it sticks perfectly into that brown carrot, so you've even got smoke coming out of it. If you want your Hellboy to be a little healthier, rather than a cigar, you could just give him a carrot to chomp on. What's up, Doc? Now that you've built your Hellboy, you're ready to go fight some supernatural bad guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave comments telling me what you want to see me build in the future. If you like this video, here are some other how to build videos you might enjoy. Pirate Rock Monster. Arr, har, 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 har. How did the rest of this get built? How does the rest of this go? So then you're gonna take this piece. Shouldn't have let him try to stand on his own. Oh, silly hell. Uh, now his arm's falling off. Pew, pew.